Community Chamber and Farmers Market at Libby is Chamber President and Market Chair Liz Whitman. So I'm going to get right into it. I've got five minutes and I want to talk about the chamber and the farmer's market at Libby. And really I'm just going to go right into some analytics for the chamber so far this year. So currently um, through 2019 we have um, sent out for visitors packets 246, 153 relocation packets. We've also compiled um, 350 plus packets for local events. Um, anything that the event committees would like us to put in there is what we put in those packets. Uh, we've completed a membership survey this year for the first time. We have 36 new chamber members and we've done three ribbon cuttings and we have one coming up actually tomorrow. Um, so. Be aware that we are on the up with our chamber membership and things are always improving. Um, our website page views is at 78,000 plus currently um, on that main page. So current projects that we're working on, we have been um, working with the city um, on helping provide some funding and feedback for the wayfinding signs. Um, we did just get some information from the city that they are being fabricated and they should hopefully arrive in Libby in mid-November. Weather permitting, um, they're hoping to get those installed um, if that uh, holds out a little bit. Um, the other project is the Welcome to Libby signs. Those are currently in production um, by Montana Machine here in Libby. Um, Leroy Tom is on our chamber board and he is um, heading up that project and hoping, again, with the city in there to get those installed by the end of October and early November. So those are our main entrance points into Libby. The other project we're working on is a collaborative effort with the Libby Schools Metal Shop, and Montana Machine is helping as well. We have a lot of bike tourism that comes through the chamber, especially in the summertime. So we are working on a artistic, creative, um, bike uh, rack that will kind of highlight our nature and beauty and Libby. So those are some kind of fun current things we have going on and, and also working with our local um, government and city as well. So other information about just chamber stats. Uh, this summer we received a big grant to help support us fund staffing at the chamber over the summertime. Uh, we just got through finishing our report for that and we had a 30 and a half percent increase in visitation over 2018 and that's huge so we think that we are getting a better sort of visual to outside visitors non-resident visitors that are coming through wanting to stop in town asking where to go where do I, where can I eat? What, how do I access this trail? Uh, do you know any side bike trips that I can take? All kinds of information. And that leads me into my next point that as a business owner and also involved in different organizations, we can help you as much as we possibly can if you provide us with that information and also bring information into our visitor center. So if you're a restaurant, you should bring in menus. If you are a contractor, we have people who are moving here who are looking for someone to help them with projects. The easier they can access that information by coming in or calling us, sometimes we are able to send them things, uh, the better we can help you build your business. Um, so it goes both ways, and we really want to get that point across at the desk um, up front. Uh, we have a little sheet on maximizing your chamber membership. So we are getting more traffic, we are getting more people coming through town, and they're seeing a better uh, image of Libby when they do come through town. So I'm going to transition into the farmer's market, because I only got two minutes left. <laughs> um, 
The farmer's market at Libby, this is the farmer's market at the Libby Chamber. It was created to help facilitate and expand the market in terms of providing food assistance programs, so SNAP, senior nutrition coupons, also create structure and foundation for the market to grow upon. We have um, had our last market tonight, so I don't have specific numbers for you, but I have numbers that are pretty close. So we had a total of 43 vendors. Now most of those are seasoned vendors, but we have quite a few daily vendors that come. We had over 13 sponsorships from businesses, organizations, and just private individuals. Uh, we established the food assistance program and it has been effective and we plan to do much uh, stronger promotion of those programs moving into the 2020 market season. We feel that our vendors are quality vendors. We have a nice variety of produce. Our visitation for a market during the peak season is 400 plus people in one four hour period. And that's pretty <coughs> awesome. During the sort of non-peak season, we're talking about outside of Memorial Day and outside of Labor Day, we have over 250 plus people that are coming through the market. So from a vendor standpoint, you may not be able to have a brick and mortar store, you create a product, you grow a product, whatever. We have brought in revenue from all of our vendors based on surveys that we sent out. Our estimate is that we'll have brought in over $115,000 just in this market season for those vendors. And again, that's an estimate. I can't give you, I don't have an exact number. It's just based on our vendor responses to that survey. So that's a huge amount of money that those vendors are being able to make if they you know, hope to try and grow their business, they're able to expand, maybe become a brick and mortar store if they want to, and or maybe they just enjoy providing a great experience for the people in Libby. So with that, I am going to finish up my talk. Is there anybody that has any questions for me on either chamber or farmer's market? Yes. Just a quick question, when the wayfinding signs would be installed? Well, as far as we know, our update today was that they should be in Libby mid-November. If the weather is pleasant, hopefully they'll get some installed. You can't say exactly, I mean, but um, possibly probably finalize the project, I would say, in the, in the spring, summer would be my guess. But the... Um, that, based on our information we had today, that's that's the answer we got. Thanks. Yep. Any other questions? All right. I will go to the break.